converted an Italian bike. And so I thought, what is the most iconic Italian bike that a person can buy? And then I realized immediately it was the Piaggio Vespa. Time to hoon. Okay, well, <laughs> hello everyone. <laughs> yes, here we are on the new bike. The new bike. So, uh, yeah, this is the uh, this is my review of the. Uh, I haven't actually ridden it that much, but this is my review of the Piaggio. Uh, I'm not even sure what the model this is. It's a Vespa, something or other. It's a Vespa. Primavera. Primavera. It actually moves out okay. You know, um, obviously it's a little, a little down on power uh, relative to the uh, ZX6, but um, you know. And what we're doing here, we're doing, I'm doing 50k, and I, I feel like I have a little bit more on the throttle. Could probably be doing 60, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, it's you know, somewhat incredible. Going uphill, I got a lot of throttle on here. It's not really responding too well. I don't want to like totally over gun the engine because it's. Oh yeah, people are just dicks. See, that would never happen on a motorcycle because you'd be gone, right? So that's one thing about scooters. People will use your lane a lot more. So, controls are uh, basically very motorcycle-like. Of course, it's an automatic instead of a uh, uh, manual, as you get on the regular motorcycle. Um, the foot brake is on the left, where your clutch would normally be. Um, so yeah, I think you got to be like a lot more cognizant of people coming up on you. Although I guess you gotta still do that on a motorcycle. I am rambling now. It's right through the red there. Mm. <laughs> Mirrors are good. I mean, really, lots of visibility on the mirror. I don't have to like suck my arms in really. Well. There's no, yeah. Uh, might have been at 50 yet. I don't really want to obviously uh, go wide open on the throttle because of the it's a new engine, but it does take a while to get my speed 78. So the speed reads a little low. <laughs> this is, I'm only doing 55 now. Fairly uh, disturbing. I'm doing 60 now. Just coming off the throttle. So basically I was on the throttle the entire way across the bridge there and never really exceeded the speed limit. There's not a lot of engine braking on it either. I find the, uh, the rear brake is a lot more effective than the ZX-6. <laughs> So how 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 does this bike differ from the ZX6R? Um, well, it 
its uh, slow speed maneuverability is uh, improved. Uh, obviously the acceleration is down. Um, suspension seems reasonable, but the brakes, the rear brake is, uh, the front brake is a lot less effective than on the ZX-6. I definitely say that. The front brake on the ZX-6 is wonderful by comparison. Although the rear brake on this one is quite effective. You should not uh, overlook the rear brake. Um, this, this bike has uh, both manual and electric start, which is nice. I mean, if you ever get in a situation where the battery's dead, you just you know, go ahead and give it a kickstart. And with a low CC engine, it's very easy to kickstart. Uh, there's, there's probably literally no chance of getting a ticket on this vehicle, whereas the ZX6R is a bit of a trap for that. Yeah, you definitely want to get on both brakes on this bike. Um, the ZX6 obviously a good habit to get on both brakes, but really, you can you can probably successfully ride it just using the front brake. Just like you see, you can probably ride it continuously in first gear if you wanted to, but it's just kind of bad practice. You have to give it a, a fair bit of gas just to make it move. It is like the it, it does it's very easy to corner the thing. Like it's very easy to ride. Um, the ZX6 is, is a lot more uh, daunting and slow speed. Yeah, people like to share the lanes with you. I think they're not as uh, maybe viscerally afraid of you as they are with a motorcyclist. Oh, I should. Uh I should point out the thing's got like, you know, massive amounts of uh, of uh, storage space too, for the size of. You got like a glove box in here. You could probably put a couple beer in there. Um, And in here, you've got huge amounts of stuff. You can put a helmet in there. Uh, fuel tanks back here. Um, I don't know what's down here. Something's down there. But yeah, I don't know. And of course, you can get racks and stuff for them as well. There we go. Hope you like the new bike. Don't worry, the ZX6 is going nowhere.